Sun don't stop for nobody, man. Sun don't fucking stop. Sun gonna be up in the morning regardless. That sun is gonna be up in the morning regardless. Regardless of how I fucking feel and how depressed I am, the sun is gonna fucking shine in the morning. And at nighttime, the moon gonna be there. And you gonna look up, these days gonna keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you done wasted a year doing what? Or do you just pick it up? All right. Well, gotta figure it out. Made some mistakes. Life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point. There is a way out. There is a way to do more, to get more, to obtain more. But I personally don't want to lose all that I've been able to get. So I need to make sure that I do everything to keep it. So I can't be content. Mm. So there is an understanding, but I refuse to click on the switch of, ha. Ah, it's the story, man. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're all writing a book. What's your book look like? You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? If the ending to my book can be so amazing because of all that was done, not the money, all that was accomplished, the first to do, the man that did this, he caused the merger between this. Because of his commitment and growth to this, the communities were then given this, made education this, changed the way the schooling was blah, 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 gave books, gave computers, gave the, all of the things that can be associated with you and your existence become a part of the chapters in your book. So my drive is about my book. I was a New York Times number one bestseller. People will be done. They did it. Writing another book. What happens if you are two-time New York Times number one bestseller? If you get the two, what happens if you get the three? Hey, man, how do books become successful? Who publishes them? I want to start a publishing company. Heartbeat Publishing. Why not? Mm. That's the thing. All I'm doing is sparking the awareness in others to go, why not? Why can't I create? Why can't I start? Why can't I be a business? Why can't I be a CEO? Why can't I be a tech guru? Why can't I fucking create cooking products? Lotion, scents, there's so much that some people just don't understand they can do. Let me be a spark to show how much, how many different, you don't have to do just one thing. When it's all said and done, my book is gonna be full of all the shit that Kevin Hart did. Because I never was content with doing just one, two or three. Why not? I'm, I'm genuinely happy. Discovery makes me happy. Like when you find different things to be excited about, it makes me happy. And it's weird when it clicks. In school, they used to tell you all the time, information is key. Read these books, there's so much knowledge. Like, man, fuck that book. Got time to read that book? I want to go home. Goddamn Sonic the Hedgehog, I, I want to play. I'm at level three. I ain't got time to read this book. The information and stuff that was forced down your throat, at a certain age, you just, you just may not be receiving it correctly, but then it clicks. You may gain information differently and what you do with that information is up to you, but people, people have different roads they can go down. The education wasn't my pick of choice. It, it didn't do it for me. But the knowledge and the common sense that I have naturally allowed me to gain information, apply it differently. It allowed me to grow smart in so many different avenues to where I said, oh my God, I found my niche, I found my talent. And now there's other things that my talent can take me to. I don't have the, all the knowledge and awareness, but I can align myself with people to do that, can teach me. Because now, guess what? Learning is cool. It's 100% the yeah. reality, and it's weird how it happens. 
But when you go, oh my God, learning and knowledge is power. Mm. Fuck, they used to tell me this when I was 10. 10, 11 years old, I heard that shit all the time. Now I finally get it. Damn, I'm about to be 40. (laughs) Took me all this time to get the goddamn code, but I got it. Yeah. It hits you at a different time. Mm -hmm. And when it does, be excited about it, man. Be excited. I'm excited about what 50 is. I'm just now getting to 40. I got a 585 on my SAT. They give you 400 for putting your name on the paper. It's a true story. I didn't care because it was a class trip that same day. I wanted to go Great Adventure. I was told (laughs) that not taking my SAT seriously would prohibit me from furthering myself in life. That's what I was told. At the moment, I said, damn, maybe I should have, maybe I should have applied myself. Maybe I should have did different. When I saw all my friends get their test scores back and they were static, 800s, 900s, 960s, everybody's going to college. I felt like the biggest idiot in the fucking world. The biggest idiot in the fucking world. Because the same people that I went and rushed to go to Great Adventure with, they had taken their SAT the week before. They already got their work done. Mm. They did everything they were supposed to do. So that moment of fun was real fun for them. I was the only dumbass that didn't prioritize and take care of my shit. So I'm the only one going to community college. Everybody else off to Villanova, Temple University, Drexel University. God damn, I just got left behind. Why didn't y'all tell me that y'all did it the week before? How come y'all ain't tell me that we was serious about the college shit? Y'all ain't tell me y'all was trying to go to Temple or Drexel? Oh, wait. It's because my life isn't their life. They, they're focused on themselves. Wow, they're, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Hey, jackass. Go sit by yourself and figure it out because this is where you should be. Lesson learned. Any opportunity given should be taken serious from this point. Because if not, you can find yourself feeling just like this. So I had to get down on myself for a fucking moment. I learned from it. I learned from it. Now... If I got to take a goddamn test, you best believe I'm studying for that fucking test because I don't want the feeling like I'm the guy mm. that didn't prepare. Now I got a story to tell my kids about what it feels like to be the kid in class that didn't prepare, that's got the worst grade when they give all those grades back. But it's because of my experience. I don't look down on those moments. You take those moments, you make the best of them because they're life lessons. It's that simple. You're saying it's positive, but it's really just simplicity that's real. It's real. Yo, we all are great. We all should think that we're great. There's no reason for you to not think that you're great. If you don't think you're great, ask yourself why. Why don't you think the highest of yourself? When you do, people have no have no choice but to follow suit. Mm. You have no choice but to follow suit. Making myself better puts me in a position to make others better. Be the example, not the problem. I'm fine with the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm fine being flawed. I'm fine with all the things that have happened to me that have been exposed. I'm fine with it all. I don't hide from it. I don't run from it. I don't, I don't uh, avoid any of it. I'm fine. It's all right. 